I wish we lived in a world where you did not have to test your horse manure or any other animal manure for that matter for toxic herbicides before you put that composted manure on your garden. But sadly, we do not live in that kind of world. We live in a world where farmers like to spray all sorts of toxic chemicals all over their fields and then that gets passed through into horse manure and ends up in your garden and then ruins it for five whole years. Hello, if you're new here, my name is Jackie. I'm not normally this angry, but today I'm a little annoyed because I I have so many other better things to do than to have to test horse manure and actually my straw mulch before putting it on my garden. But sadly, we live in a world that you do have to test these things before you can use them in your garden. Particularly what I'm testing for is Grazon and Tardon 22K, which has a chemical called Picloram in it. Now Picloram will last in the soil for five whole years, five years, they all the spec sheets on these two chemicals um, blatantly like say that it stays in your compost or in your soil for five years and that you cannot use the mulch then. So if you're growing, okay, let me explain this properly. So if you are buying straw or hay for mulch in your garden, which you should be buying straw, not hay anyways, but if you're buying straw, if that straw was grown using any of these herbicides that the farmer sprayed, that herbicide will be in the plant. And then if you put that straw onto your garden and mulch with it, then you're moving that into your garden. And then you're gonna have a, like five years of terrible, terrible plants. All of your all of your broadleaf plants, all of your tomatoes, your beans, your peas, and they're not gonna be happy. They're gonna be have leaf curl. They're gonna be all shriveled and, and just deformed and anything that you'd think of like what a poison would do to a plant, it's gonna do it to that. Uh, and then the second way that you could be contaminating your garden is through the way the horse or through horse poop. Okay, so I just got a bunch of horse manure um, way back in February. It's been composted on my property in a different spot. And I started testing it in the summer to make sure it doesn't have this chemical in it. So what happens is the horses are eating on the fields where these chemicals are sprayed or these herbicides are sprayed and it passes completely through the animal and into their horse, into their manure. And again, this is all information that is found on these company profiles, on their, their PDF like spec sheets that you can download. I will put a link here to all the websites that I found this from. And these companies are saying, do not use the manure from animals that have grazed on fields sprayed with this stuff. And they're also saying, do not use the straw or the hay or whatever is growing on there as mulch in your garden. And again, they're saying it lasts at least five years. What happens to it afterwards? Well, it leaches into your water supply and poisons you that way. So, I mean, it's not good. I wish we would stop spraying our fields with this. And if you're a farmer, please find something better or please just go organic. Like, it just really angers me that we even have to have organic labels on our food when conventional food is poison. Like that's, that's where this is like, I just don't understand. How do we get there? How do we get to this point where we have to label and certify food that is grown naturally and that conventional food grown with poisons is now our normal food? Like, Oh, just, okay. That's a whole other rant for another day. So I'm going to show you how to test your horse manure and your straw today to make sure that it doesn't have any of these herbicide residue in it that is going to cause havoc to your garden because nobody wants to set their garden back five years. If you're growing an organic garden, you know it can be hard work and it just, we don't want to do that. We don't want to put any toxins into our garden. We want to have healthy food supply, healthy soil. So I'll show you what I did in the summer to get this done. This garden bed behind me has some of the composted horse manure in it. And so far nothing's dead. So obviously my test did work. So the first thing I did was I scooped up a whole bunch of that horse manure and I put it into my wheelbarrow. Now you could put it into pots and do one little test pot if you want to, but I figured, you know what, if it's good, I'm going to dump the whole thing into the garden. And if it's toxic, I'm going to dump the whole wheelbarrow away. So I was trying to work smarter, not harder here. So I wet down my comp or my composted manure and then I took some winter field peas that had gone to seed in the garden and I took those out and I planted them all in the compost. Now, see, uh, peas are very, very susceptible to um, Grazon, Tardon, that Picloram to these herbicides. So they will show, uh, they will begin to show leaf curl, twirling, twisted stems, um, deformed growth, if there's any sort of contamination in that soil. 
or in that compost. So I started to just let them grow and I observed them every day and they looked healthy. Those peas looked really good. And again, that the information on these herbicides do say that any legumes are very, very susceptible to um, the, these herbicides. So they will show damage if there is this herbicide present in the manure or in the, in the straw. That's what I did and I observed it. It looked fine. It looked great. The second thing I did is I spread it out in front of um, an area in my garden where I had a bunch of uh, flowers growing just to again see are these flowers going to be able to grow? Are they going to be okay? Because even with the one test, I really didn't want to risk it. I really do not want to contaminate my garden for five years with this stuff. So I wanted to be double sure. And those flowers all seemed to be growing fine and they didn't show any signs of deformities as well. Then I dumped it into here. I still have not spread it in other parts of the garden because I'm still trying to be very cautious about it to make sure there's nothing else in there like a pathogen or anything else that like didn't compost properly. And maybe I'm a little paranoid, but I don't know. I'm trying to grow the most healthiest food possible. So I am a little skeptical of where I get these. Of course, any mulch, any um, compost that you make yourself and you know exactly what is, is being put into it is gonna be so much better for your garden. Ooh, there's an eagle. Any compost that you make, mulches that you make, grass clippings from your own grass that you know what you're putting on is gonna be the best, safest stuff for your garden. Any grass clippings you get from a neighbor, you don't know what they've been using, a golf course, oh my gosh, do not ever put grass clippings from a golf course onto your garden because they are definitely spraying stuff. There's no way that they have those beautiful green greens without using lots of herbicides. Um, there is somebody locally uh, advertising that they had their grass clippings for gardens and I was like no no please do not put that poison in your garden do not not all free mulch is good mulch this whole truckload of composted horse manure that I got a horse manure that I then composted seems to be working good if I go back to that same person I will still have to test every single batch that I get because they don't know what the horses are eating. They don't know if they're eating contaminated hay. They're probably getting hay from different suppliers. Unless that person giving you the manure, whether it's sheep or cow or chicken or horse, pig, whatever. I didn't know you shouldn't put pig and manure in your garden, but you know, you get the idea. They can, if they cannot tell you a hundred percent guarantee that they did not feed their animals. Um, hay that had been sprayed with one of these herbicides, then you need to be testing. Oh, the eagles are back. Then you need to be testing every batch that you get. Unfortunately, I wish I could change this. I mean, I'm pretty angry about it. You should be angry about it too. Definitely start making this known. Talk to your farmers, talk to your suppliers, ask them these questions, tell them you don't want to buy from them unless they can guarantee that it hasn't been sprayed with Grazon, Tardon 22K, or any of these other herbicides that are going to ruin your garden for five years or more. Um, okay, so let's go look at that straw because I also need to test that. It is cold here. We got a big storm coming. I would love to put this straw on my garden bed as mulch, but I forgot to test it. I haven't been testing it. So let's go show you how I'm going to do that now. All right, so for this straw bale here, um, I really should have tested this when I'm in, I got it right away, but you know, you're busy, I'm busy. Uh, there's lots of garden tasks to do, so I kind of left it for too late. Um, but what I've been doing, and so I took a whole bunch of the straw and I put it into a glass jar, filled it with water, and I've been letting this water soak and it's gonna be all contaminated. If the if the straw is contaminated, if the straw was sprayed during the process of it growing, like this is probably wheat, like a wheat, um, wheat field that was sprayed, could have been sprayed with um, one of those herbicides or any of those herbicides or even pesticides. It will soak into the water here. And then what I'm gonna do is plant some bean seeds or some pea, probably some pea seeds inside. And as those start to grow, I'm gonna be watering them only with this water to see again if there's any sorts of deformities happening in those pea seeds. Now I haven't started growing those peas yet, which I really should have. This has been soaking for about a week now and I will start to do that soon to see. I'm kind of, I'm hopeful, I'm very hopeful because the horse manure was not contaminated. I'm hopeful that this isn't, but again, I will do this every single time because I do not want to set my garden back five years. And there is quite a few YouTubers that have shown that this has happened. This is happening. This is happening that we can no longer use the mulch from these farmers' fields. We can no longer use the horse manure or cow manure from these farmers, from these animals that are grazing on these fields because of these chemicals that are just being like completely detrimental to the environment. They contaminate all of our waters. They contaminate the soil. They're just like, why are we even allowed to use them? It just blows my mind. The decisions that are being made at like 
I don't know, the government level, the big egg level, like it all just sucks. We all just need to be voicing our concerns, talking to our farmers, just complaining. This should not be. We should like not have to be testing our horse manure and our straw before putting it in the garden. But sadly, we do have to. And I hope that you never have to have contaminated stuff in your garden because I would, like I would cry. I would be so upset if my whole garden just started to see signs of herbicide use after I've been putting in so much effort to turn my like gravelly sandy plot into a thriving food forest using permaculture practices. Like I, I don't know, I would just lose it. So I hope that never happens to you. Please test your manure before you put it in your garden. Please test your straw or any other form of mulch that is coming from a source that you don't know. Um, don't contaminate your garden with this stuff. And yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, hopefully I'll put out some more positive content in the future. <laughs> and if you are new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I do do gardening stuff. I'm building a home soon out of hempcrete, which is also going to be quite an adventure. So stay tuned for videos of that coming soon, hopefully. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.